Hi, my name is Tim Hazlitt and I'm the Regional Director for ALC Training. I'm here today with Michael Matthew, our course presenter for the CESA Certificate and I'm here to ask him a few questions about the course and the CESA examination. Now our participants will attend this CESA exam preparation course for a couple of reasons. One might be to get the knowledge and one might be specifically for exam preparation. Can you walk me through the content of this course and how it benefits uh, our participants' objectives? It's interesting because participants who attend this course, and indeed participants who do the CESA qualification, come from a wide range, wide range or variety of backgrounds. There may be some people who specialise in disaster recovery and contingency planning, which of course is one of the critical six areas that is under review. There may be others that are in the data security area. There may be again others who are pure IT auditors, people who deal with application controls, a whole range of activities. And what's interesting, when these people study the official manuals and the like in the area, or indeed attend the course, there'll be areas in which they're pretty proficient, and they sit there and actually often give good feedback to the other participants and the like. But there'll be others, because you're test on, tested on six entirely different areas. There will be other areas where they'll be learning a lot which won't be within their comfort level. And you can nearly pick it by looking at the participants and seeing the knowledge that they're picking up in the area. Now you guys very kindly, as part of their uh, enrolment fee or subscription fee, give them the key uh, CESA review manual, which is the, the key study aid in this area. You also give them, once again very kindly, the, questions, the question uh, books as well, for sample questions. Now we go through not only the CESA manual, but we go through a lot of the stuff that I've prepared for universities using a whole variety of different textbooks, as well as my own personal experience, which gives them the necessary background. So day one consists of just background. We explain to people what auditing's about, based upon courses that I do for some of the big accounting firms, introducing people who are maybe lateral hires as to what the basic principles of auditing are. Uh, we then move into the basic principles of IS auditing. And then we spend the entire afternoon establishing a baseline knowledge of what computer security, IS security and disaster recovery and business continuity is about. Then on day two we start getting into the CESA stuff in detail. We go through uh, the CESA manual and the contents within that as well as the other lectures that I do at university involving the areas once again giving people the base knowledge. We also have extensive practice questions as we go through the manual. So we cover all the areas, IS auditing, IS governance, uh, work with systems development, uh, operations, the six, the six critical areas finishing up with data security or protection of information assets and last but not least business continuity and disaster recovery planning. And day five is my funnest day. That's when we basically have a question day where as groups and also as in the entire group and also as individuals we go through answering questions. It's sort of like an exam uh, well, preview, mock, not a mock exam because the questions are real but it's basically giving them practice because let's face it, this exam is actually not an easy exam to pass. Thanks Michael, thank you. So the content of the course, can you break this down for me into uh, the key modules that are covered throughout the program? We give them a thorough education not only in terms of passing the exam but in all of the key CESA areas like IS audit process, the IT governance, systems and infrastructure lifecycle management, IT service support and delivery, areas of, as I said, I think it was your first or second question, often people have a little bit of experience with, but they have more experience in others. And of course, the two big ones at the end, the protection of information assets, fancy term for IT security, access control, that sort of thing. And last but not least, what do we do if things do go wrong? The business continuity and disaster recovery planning. Various percentages of questions of the 200 questions in the CESA exam come from those various areas. The big one is of course protection of information assets, but the others are equally as important. So we teach them to answer the CESA questions, but in addition to that, we give them the background in these areas to make their contribution to their workplace when they get back after this course much, much better. Great Michael, thank you very much indeed. Very much appreciate your time and we look forward to working with you next year.